Hello everyone and welcome back to Ben's Pantry. Today we're talking about bread, not just any bread, tiger bread. Here I made a large loaf, but if you wanted to, you could make smaller rolls. We are going to be doing this recipe in two parts. The first part will be for the dough, for the bread, and the second part will be for the topping, which makes it nice and crusty. You first want to start by adding 500 grams of strong bread flour to a large mixing bowl. And to that you want to add 7 grams of fast action dried yeast, and 1.5 teaspoons of sugar, 1.5 teaspoons of salt, and you just want to stir that through making sure it's all combined. Once that mix is all combined, you can now start by slowly adding 350 mils of warm water to the bowl. Once you have added all the water, if you are using a stand mixer, you may need to scrape down the sides of the bowl to ensure the dough is mixed properly. If you are doing this, make sure you turn the machine off before doing so, otherwise you could hurt your fingers. If you've got a stand mixer, you can now knead the dough in the mixer on a medium speed for about five to six minutes. If you are doing it by hand, you will have to knead it for about 10 to 12 minutes. You can stop kneading your dough once the dough is smooth and once you press it, it bounces back immediately. If it doesn't bounce back immediately, you need to just carry on for a few more minutes until it does. Once the bread has been kneaded, we're now going to prove the dough. This enables the bread to have a nice bubbly, airy texture to it inside. You now need to get yourself a large mixing bowl, large enough for the dough to double in size in. You then need to spray some cooking oil inside to ensure it doesn't stick when you take your dough out. You can now take the dough out of the other mixing bowl and put it onto a lightly floured work surface and you can shape it into a, a rough ball shape and then you can put it straight into that oiled bowl. Now we need to grab enough cling film to cover the top of the bowl but before you put the cling film on top of the bowl you need to ensure that you spray some oil onto it to ensure it doesn't stick when the dough rises. Then you want to place the cling film on top of the mixing bowl and place the bowl into a warm area for about an hour or until the dough is doubled in size. Once the dough has doubled in size, we now need to flour the work surface and we can take the dough out of the bowl and we want to knead it three or four times. We now need to shape the dough into an oval shape and this will be the final shape. So whatever you shape it as now will be the shape you get out of the oven. Here I've just flattened it out slightly and folded the top of the dough into the middle and rolled it over and this will create a log shape. Once you've shaped the dough how you like it, you now need to get a baking sheet with some baking paper on and you can place your dough directly onto the baking sheet. We now need to prove this again until double in size. This could take between 30 minutes and an hour depending on how the conditions are with the humidity and the heat. And again we want to get enough cling film with the oil on to cover the dough so it doesn't stick. We're now going to be making the topping for the bread and this is how it gets its name as tiger bread because this topping cracks in the oven and makes different shapes. So you will need 90 grams of rice flour, 3.5 grams of fast action yeast, a pinch of salt, 1 teaspoon of caster sugar, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil and 90 millilitres of warm water. To a mixing bowl combine the rice flour, the yeast, the sugar and the salt. I use golden caster sugar instead of the normal white caster sugar, but either of them is fine. And then we can add the wet ingredients, so we can add the toasted sesame oil and the 90 millilitres of warm water. You can now preheat your oven to 180 degrees fan assisted or 200 degrees conventional. Once you've added all the ingredients into the bowl, we now need to whisk it to ensure there's no lumps left in there and you want a consistency which is spreadable, a bit like double cream. So once your dough is now doubled in size, you can now take the cling film off and we need to get our topping paste and we just want to pour it over and spread it evenly across the dough. Just like this one, you now need to place the dough into the preheated oven for about 35 minutes or until it sounds hollow when you tap it from the bottom of the bread. If it's not quite done, just put it back into the oven for a few minutes at a time until it is cooked. Now just look at the patterns on that bread. 
What do you guys think? Is it tiger, giraffe? Leave a comment in the comment box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like this, please subscribe to my channel. And to never miss a video I upload, just press that bell.